Okay guys, so I know it's been long overdue, but I'm back with another synthetic wig series with this thing, you know, this girl right here. This is um the Motown Trust Extra Deep Lace Par Synthetic Wig. Um, the name is LXB Envy. Um, I saw this wig a long time ago. Remember my blonde wig that I showed you guys? I forgot the name, but it's over there. When I was searching for a blonde wig, I saw this one, but I didn't buy it. I ended up buying the other one. But then I finally decided to cave in and buy this blonde wig because it's so cute and it's so cheap. So I bought this hair and um, this is how it looks. Um, it only cost $24.70 and I got it off of wigtypes.com. And it comes in a bunch of different colors, but I really like this color right here. And um, this wig is nice. Um, it looks nice. Like it's photographed well, but I have to say, you could tell it's an older wig. Like it's not like these new wigs that's coming out. It's more of an older version. Why do I say that? Um, in the parting, I'm not feeling. I wouldn't say this is an everyday wig. I would definitely say this is a wig that's for. Um, you know if you're just going somewhere like if you wanted a blonde wig and you're not gonna wear it a lot this wig to be honest will only last you about two weeks I wore this this is my second time wearing this wig I wore it um, to a party and the back started matting up cuz I'm sweating and this is not a good wig to wear like if you're gonna be doing a lot of stuff like if you're just gonna put it on and just like go out to dinner go out to brunch go out to lunch this is the wig for you but also like it's not very realistic so because of this parting right here um, it does have two combs on the side one comb on the back it does have adjustable straps and um, it's pretty it's pretty long I would say it's about 24 22 inches but also like the hair is um, very thin and spaced out I don't know if you guys could tell or see but I know that the last time I wore this wig viewers you could see the spaces in between it and I don't like that like if I'm gonna wear a wig cover my whole head so if you wear this wig definitely make sure your hair is flat and you have on a stocking cap especially if you have darker hair color or if you have any hair color because it will sh it could possibly show through if the wind blows or if you don't brush it correctly the hair quality is not bad but it's not the best I definitely could see that it's starting to fray on the ends and I don't know if that's because I was at that party or just because you know of the fibers of the hair I feel like the color looks good on me and I really like it um the last time I had this hair and it was like my face was super beat but now I have a more natural look so you could definitely wear it with both um, I do think this is a good wig to get just because it's so cheap you might as well just get it because it's cheap and um like with the shipping and everything I think I paid like um what did I think like $40 for this hair so I give this wig about a 3.5 out of, but out of five stars, I give it, um, if out of four stars, I give it a, like, 2.7, and out of five stars, I give it, like, a 3.5, just because, like, like, the hair quality is not that good, and the parting is just super unrealistic, like, everybody's gonna know I have on a synthetic wig, so it's just, like, yeah, this is, like, a, a hair that I will wear in the house if I'm taking pictures or making a video like what I'm doing right now that's about it um I really don't have much to say about this hair other than that um I didn't put any baby hairs on it like like I usually would with a lot of my wigs I usually create baby hairs I just didn't do it with this wig because it's like the parting is so unrealistic what's the point I did lay it down with a curling iron right at um this part just so that it didn't um it didn't look too wiggish and lumpy and that helped a bit but um yes I would recommend if you you could pluck the parting if you want I did do a little bit of plucking so you could pluck the parting if you want but um, I would recommend you using a curling iron to flatten it and also this hair is like fuller at the top thinner at the bottom so I'm definitely gonna cut this wig into like a bob because these ends are not gonna last me and also they're gonna end up being straight after brushing it and trying to get all the tangles out so I'm just gonna cut it and make it short into like a, a some like not a short bob but a longer bob so yeah maybe let me see how that looks but I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to watch my other videos my other synthetic wig reviews and my other you know 
makeup videos and stuff don't forget to like subscribe and share this video with all your friends so they can get this week as well all the information will be listed down below follow me on instagram and snapchat and i'll see you guys next time bye